Let's see. So the oh. A7 is three's coming in tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, what? Oh, hey. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang. What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to the pre-show of Monday Live. I go by um, that one camera guy, aka Danny, and I'm here with um, you know who, Jason Vaughn. Jason, say hi. What's going on? I'm trying to stop this ad from playing. There we go. <laughs> you and your ad just get the YouTube red, man. <laughs> Can't let Danny should, make a few cents off of me. I honestly, I should just share the an account with you. You want me to share with you? I still have like it gives, I have six spots, well, total, and I think I've, I I have like probably like two more spots. You can if share, you want, when I, share to a different yeah. account. Yeah, I can just what? share my email. Just put, I'll just type in your email, and then you're good, man. I think that's just it's that simple. I don't want to yeah. be owned by that one camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea you can share the Google Premium. It's a family plan. Oh, so so this it, ha- okay. it gives you. Yeah, there you go. Now now we would be officially related. There you go. Finally, so everyone, all the stress everyone has about that. Uh, yeah. So if you're finally just jumping into the show right now and you're seeing it for the first time, just to let you know there is going to be some show notes posted in the comment section or description section of this video. So just hang tight. We are going to start the live show officially at around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So in about seven minutes or so. But if you're in the chat, don't forget to say hi and we'll read some of the comments. And you might be able to even sneak in a couple of questions because we usually take that at the very end of our show. So um, hope you're all doing well tonight. We're live right now. Join us. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm doing Instagram. I'm sorry. Oh, man. You're a beast at that, man. All right, let's see. Uh, Zachary Western says, I somehow was unsubscribed and I got real stressed for a second, but we're good now. Zachary, thanks for checking on that. I appreciate that. YouTube and that bug. Uh, Steve S., what are we waiting for? I have no idea, Steve. I I have no idea. (laughs) Chris Imamura made it to the live show. Uh, Amir Khan heard a little bit what we said earlier before the show started. He's asking uh, A7S3. Coming home tomorrow? <laughs> question mark. Question. Huh? What? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I got tricked again. Uh, let's see here. GFF Mad dropping twenty dollars so early, dude. The show hasn't even started. Not everyone's here yet. Uh, I says sold my Alpha sixty five hundred. I now have the A seven Mark three. Why should I upgrade from the APSC eighteen to one hundred five to the FE twenty four one hundred five? Please convince me. Um, oh, it is so much well, sharper. Well, well, first of all, his, the APS-C one's an APS-C lens, right? I mean, there. Yeah, I, GFF Mad just, just, it's just go to the twenty four one hundred five. It's a solid choice. I mean, you're you're kind of trapped at APS-C, right? You're not going to be able to take full advantage of your A seven Mark III, um, full frame sensor, get the most megapixels out of it with uh, with that lens. So, I, yeah. Jason, anything else you want to say? I mean. 24 to 105 is so much sharper than yeah. 105. But the 18 to 105 has a lot of advantage. The biggest key is just the servo zoom that you get out of it. And, um, you know, that's about the only strength that I see out of it. If you if you use it a lot, I think it's a it's a major benefit. Uh, but I, I just I just don't know. I, the 24 105 is still going to be a much better lens overall. But, uh, but yeah. Wow, it is. It is if it's available to order. <laughs> I know. I think. I think you can get it. I mean, it's just a friend of mine trying to order the twenty four to one hundred five. It's back order for him still. Oh yeah, you just but you got to place the order though, right? You yeah, can't you just like wait. Yeah, it might be a couple of weeks out or something like. That. I I still want to place an order for one. I'm thinking about it, but I'll hold off till a couple of months down the line, um, till I look at uh, potentially getting it. Let's see here. I Asperity, um, first time on the live show in a long time. Always had class, but it got canceled today. Sweet. I'm oh. glad you can make it out, man. Why aren't you listening to us during class, man? Come on. <laughs> no, Danny's the teacher, right? It's the same thing. <laughs> uh, Jay San says, ah, ha, ha, we know Sony wouldn't send Danny the A7S3. That's they why they're sending him to me. I mean, oh, yeah. oh on the cover. Those cops are going to be after me again. They'd send him an A7 with no sensor to prevent overheating. Absolutely. AB positive bulldog. What's going on, man? Thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, Trey videos one. What's the new camera from Sony's chiming in on? Uh, we'll talk. We'll have to share that a little bit later on the show. 
Uh, let's see here. Ramon Florentine Mino. Hello, I'm from Paraguay. And then Rodell said, I thought last week was the last show. Snickers. I think, I think today, <laughs> today's last show. <laughs> the forever last show. Should we just call that the new show title? The last show? The last show. You know, you don't, you don't put the little potato icon next uh, in, in the titles anymore. I'm not about that potato life, even oh. though my, my, my stream is potato. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm, let me bump up my bandwidth. I was waiting to bump up my bandwidth, so I don't know if it's going to improve right now. But um, so have you been getting that weird banner in YouTube where it says uh, to allow you to, it's asking you to create like merch, like shirts and stuff? Have you seen that pop up on yours? No. On your oh, YouTube I, account? The latest thing that I got is uh, paid memberships on my um little circle when you click on the circle okay, yeah that's all like that's all the new thing i got i didn't get anything else okay so i'm sorry i see this banner is saying like hey you know uh join this to go ahead and make merch so you can sell things and i was like man it'd be cool to make a potato shirt or uh apsc is dead or something like that um not really solved just for money but just it's just to solve for habit for fun uh yeah. that's what i think be hilarious all right <laughs> uh Jay San, hashtag APSC is dead. Uh absolutely. Um let's see here. Yesenia Kalas asking, hi Jason, how do you market for weddings? She's jumping ahead on that question. I thought you're gonna make a video on that, Jason. I think so. I mean, there's there's a video coming out tomorrow, like how to get your first wedding gig. So I think that kind of also touch up on a little bit of marketing. So tomorrow. If not yeah. next week, I have something. Definitely want to touch up on more of the business side of weddings as well. So I'm trying to get my friend to sit down with me and we can have like a little mini podcast about it. There you go. Yeah. So you say make sure you, you're subscribed to Jason, which I'll, I'm pretty sure you are. Um, he'll have a video on that. Yeah. Gerald is here now. Hi, Gerald. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> uh, Luis Zarita, what do you know about the Sigma mount change? I think it's like a $100, $200 mount conversion and it might be a couple of weeks to do they only will convert based off of whether or not an fe or or a not fe but whether or not there is a sigma sony version already that exists so obviously for example the 120 to 300 sigma lens doesn't have an fe version yet so they're not going to do a mount conversion so i'm just waiting for that one that's a that's one of the lenses i'm very uh, uh, much anticipating Waterfall, what's happening, Asian brothers? What's up? <laughs> Patrick Chang, what is your holy trinity of lenses for APSC, Zoom, and then Primes? Hmm. Let's see here. The Zeiss 55's got to be on that list, though. I mean, I think. That's true. I, know. I consider that an APSC lens, even though it's a full frame lens. Well, this one I just reviewed to uh, just just came out today. The AT135 is definitely on my list of APS-C lenses. I'll tell you that as far as zoom lenses are concerned. So, prime lens is a different. I would say Sigma 31.4. I like that one. Um, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> those are two ones I would talk about right now. Let's see. Uh, oh man, the show's going to start in just a little bit. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> that was if, you so don't already know me. if you don't already know me i go by that one camera guy and i'm also here with jason vong jason vong say hi how's it going everyone welcome to the monday live show podcast where we talk about sony gear gas and just anything revolving around sony mirrorless equipment and gear so again thank you for joining us this evening on this crazy day uh i'm going to go ahead and sort of break down a little bit about what we're going to be talking about this evening so you don't get stuck in watching this whole thing but there are going to be show notes posted down in the comments slash description below after the show is over and we'll be taking questions towards the end as usual the show is going to start off with our new gear segment then we'll talk about a little bit of our new experiences or what's new uh, around the horizon with what we are up to some news topics we're going to briefly brush on is the new Sigma firmware updates that came out. I'll actually share a little bit about my experience with that as well. The Sigma FE art lenses are finally falling into the hands of users. And some of you probably already uh, got a copy out there potentially, but uh, they're out now in the wild and I, and I have done some tests with those. So I'll share that as well. Sony offers rumors posted a, um, 
a comment or, or a post actually that their Sony registered a new camera. And usually when cameras are registered, uh, there's usually a, uh, it was mentioned about a one to three month period when a new camera will be announced. So the, uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about that. I don't want to give away that. There was this whole big thing about the Nikon D850 using a Sony sensor. I, I don't know why that was really big news. I thought that was pretty obvious. And then Sam Yang's busting out some new lenses. We didn't really talk about the 24 millimeter last time. There's also an 85 millimeter autofocus for EF for Canon. It's coming around. And then we might even talk a little bit about, uh, this is coming from Canon rumors that uh, Canon will finally start getting a little bit more serious about their video capabilities in their prosumer DSLRs. And towards the end, we'll take the Q&A stuff. And that's going to be kind of a rough guideline of our show this evening. But as usual, we're going to go ahead and start with our hashtag new gear segment. And we want to go ahead and talk to our gas expert this evening, Jason Bong. Oh, by the way, please let us know in the comments what you guys recently picked up with the hashtag new gear so we can go ahead and read it off on the show. So Jason, what have you picked up? Uh, this um, got the pinky grip. Oh, got the where, where did the Who, who's go? who's pinky did you have to chop off for that jason oh you know just just your pinky damn it so i got this uh little pinky grip right here for the sony app cameras do you guys notice uh jason vong's new setup right there did anyone catch that it's a little bit different this time around <laughs> it looks familiar <laughs> looks familiar. <familiar. laughs> was debu it's debuted on uh danny's channel that one time <laughs> where he shot a video of my house so I didn't include this in the show. No, that's why I just like I'm not prepared for this. But I just how much is that? that? How much is that just on its own? Let me see. I think it's like a hundred bucks for this this little pinky grip right here. Seriously? But it's definitely, you know, like I I don't really need it because I feel like without it, my whole hand still fits on the grip of the Sony full frame cameras. But having it's just really nice, you know. Like once you actually get a hold of it, you're just like, wow, okay, it's actually pretty helpful. It's pretty handy. It's pretty comfortable. And um, I was at Universal Studios this past weekend, and I was just using the pinky grip with the 16 to 35 G Master and the Zeiss Spotis 135. And um, I don't know, it just kind of it kind of helps a lot. I know it's super expensive for what it is, and a lot of people have been telling me um, they had they get the uh, small rig L bracket or just a, a battery grip. And for sure, I mean, like that's probably money well spent. <laughs> just pay a couple extra hundred dollars more for the battery grip. Not a couple hundred more, it's like maybe a hundred dollars more for the battery grip, or the or just pay like fifty bucks for the L bracket. But um, I managed to get this one for free from a friend because he had an extra. Well, he didn't he didn't need it with his uh, camera, so I just figured I'd just grab it from him. But it's nice, kind of like it. Probably won't use it too much yeah. though, since I'll be using um, tripod plates on the bottom of the camera a lot. But when I do shoot photos, I'm a, I would bring it with me. I'm looking at that small rig L bracket. I mean, yeah. it's it still gives you access to your uh, quarter twenty threads. Um, yeah, uh, it does it does add bulk though? So if it's not your cup of tea, it, it, you got to kind of watch out for that. So um, yeah, I just kind of wish they they found a way to include a quarter twenty back on the bottom here. That would be incredibly incredibly helpful. I have no idea why they take away one and not give it back. You know, like at least Apple when you buy one of these like extra um, battery pack for your phone. They give you back a lightning port. This one doesn't give you back a quarter 20. So it's, it's Sony. <laughs> <laughs> what do we expect? Uh, All right. What else, Jason? What else you got? Uh, potential, uh, not a potential, but I uh, got a sponsorship deal. Going to be working a uh, video for this right here. The Spider Pro, Spider 5 Pro, this is a little monitor calibration thing. So um, probably going to be calibrating that monitor right behind me, as well as my Razer laptop and um, and uh, an older MacBook, just so I can get some pretty accurate colors whenever I color grade and um, edit photos in Lightroom. All right. So more on that. More on that soon. Hopefully it all works out for you, Jason. Uh, all right. So I, I guess I'm like, I'm the one doing gas this week, I guess. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I picked up quite a bit more stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. A lot of stuff. All right. So I've got this, this is the, the Sigma 50 art. I've got another Sigma 50 art. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Sony Zeiss 50. 
<laughs> I've got the Roka non fifty. And I bought all these. No, I'm kidding. I didn't I didn't buy that. That'd be ridiculous. Um Damn, that one rich guy. <laughs> Uh, I actually got uh, a couple of these cards here. I haven't even. I've okay, had calm down. Jeez. Yeah, I'm working on a. I want to do a video, so I want to pick these up because I've been meaning to do a comparison with these two. I mean, there's videos out there, but I wanted to compare it for my own needs. So yeah. I'm working on that. Hey, guess what? Hey, you know this little pistol grip here? I already got mine. You guys seen this before for the. Oh, whoa. Is that the prototype? For the RX100? Oh, this little guy? stamps. Now this is the first gen. So if I don't know if Michael's in the chat right now, but I, if you remember at uh, Photocon, uh, Michael Mistro, he had this with them, and I was like, "What the hell? You already got the pistol grip?" Because it's not even a, out yet, the official one. Yeah. But this is the um, this is the first gen one, I guess, that came out for their other cameras, and it works with the RX100, their action cams. I think even with like the art, uh, if your camera has like a servo zoom or something, it'll work. You can use it to stop and start. So I did use it a little bit. I it's it does come in handy, but uh, the tripod feet suck 100%. Oh. It's not good. But if you're just doing selfie, you're holding it out and you want to start and stop recording, I really like it. Or if you're going to take a photo or a selfie or zoom it in, it's pretty good. So I got that. And I've been meaning to look at this for a while. It's the Miki battery grip i do have a, a sony branded battery grip so this thing will probably be tested out but it'll probably take a few months in order for me to give a good evaluation of it make sure it doesn't break while i use it and then i own the road video micro i mentioned this already before but i also picked up this the third the cheap one i don't know if you guys have seen this before it's a little bit cheaper i think like 20 30 dollars cheaper than the road video micro but i just needed I just needed another microphone to mount to like my top cam over there. And I have a couple of Rode Video Mic Pros. It's just that uh, these just don't use battery. I mean, so I'd, I'd rather have one less battery to worry about. So I pick that up. Um, how much and is that? What is that? What's that brand called? And how much is it? It's like, it's called Movo VXR10. And I think it's like 30 to 40 bucks versus like $60 for the Rode Video Micro. So about half off, half. Yeah, off two thirds, it's the cost of it. Yeah. And then, I, and then I did get the everyday messenger bag because uh, Jason and the second shooter, or the other uh, Grace was, I was getting roasted on <laughs> during that one time. So um, I ended up getting a Peak Design everyday messenger bag because, so funny story, I mean. <laughs> is, it, is, it the ver is, it, is, is it the version two? No, 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 no. It's the version one. I got the cause they didn't they, I got the tan color because that's that's just the color I really wanted. Yeah. Um, and I got the smaller one. So the 13, the 13 inch yeah. one, I guess. Yeah. And so so here's the funny story. So when I was helping Jason shoot B-roll for for that wedding, uh, if you guys know the story, I brought this bag with me, okay? Oh god. Now, I, I, if, I you have, <laughs> oh. if you have ever purchased a cheap lens like this well not, not cheap but the sigma 30 from like a gray market store this is the bag they include with your they include like a monopod like a grip like random crap and they give this bag and so i brought this bag with me to help uh you know to carry some stuff in here and jason and the other shooter grace they're packing some peak design bag and the other the photographer grace she was packing some really uh, some really nice bags everyone had some really legit bags some camera bags and aka that one camera guy comes in rocking this altura oh. altura branded backpack and <laughs> or sling bag <laughs> oh like man, it, I need my nice. eye. <laughs> it was funny too. When when I had left, Jason's like, "Are you sure you don't want me to get you a Peak Design bag right now before we leave? I'd have another bag." Like, <laughs> yeah, I literally had like another bag for you. I was like, "Look, I have a backpack, I have a messenger bag, I have a feud pouch. It's a fanny pack. You sure you don't want to use any of those?" Jason's like, "You're cramping my style. You're making me look bad out here, man." So um, shout out. Let me know in the comments if you also have this bag. You know it's awesome. I really love this bag. I took it to Universal Studios on Saturday when I went there. And um, I wanted to get I wanted to try to bring the peak design bag, but I didn't come in until today. But uh mine's starting to rip already, so that's why it's cheap. The thread here is already oh, ripping man. already. So oh, man. yeah, pretty bad, especially when you got like a Sony A9 inside this thing and this thing's already tearing up. But anyway, it's done its job. I really like it. It's uh, cheap and expensive, and I toss in some expensive ones in there. It's all good. There you go.
Wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> no regard to the bag whatsoever. Uh, what else did I get? I think. I he, think. Oh, calm down, man. Uploading videos uh, at midnight and buying so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the twenty-four to two forty. People have been asking about this lens a lot. Uh, uh, this was a, a request. I uh, sort of like a rental or a request for, from Sony Pro Support. So the twenty-four to two forty. I was gonna test it out a little bit, but um, we'll see. So I have another week with it. So I'm gonna go shoot more with it just to. I value because people are always asking about one lens to roll them all. But yeah, I am so sorry. I took so much time just on our new gear stuff. But that is. Man, you just you make me feel bad, dude. I, I did not buy anything for the last couple <laughs> of weeks. And I'm just like, oh, man, questioning my dude, existence right now. Here's the thing. OK, look, this is what's going through my mind. I have like I have like two and a half months off for the summer. Once I go back to work, I it's so difficult for me to make video content. And so I was like, I'm just going to just boom, just hammer things out, just get the stuff now and just roll with it because it's just, just not enough time. They're just not enough time. And um, All right, Danny, I'll let you catch up. I'll let you, I'll let you, <laughs> I'll let you pass me. I'm, I'm trying to get to Jason Vong. Oh, and again, <laughs> those of you that are just catching the show right now, there will be show notes down below. Right now we're in the hashtag new gear segment. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. What the heck is going on, Jason? If you find anybody, you can go ahead and start reading it off. Okay, all right. I'm, I also need to dig for some stuff. Okay, got it. Cool. Rodell Photo, hashtag new gear renewal of the Sony Pro Support. Very nice. Rodell, did they send you anything or did they just send you like an envelope saying, hey, here's your card and your updated membership? I was like, where's my strap? I thought they're going to send me a new neck strap because my first neck strap got kind of messed up. You know, come on. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Mako Sports, hashtag new gear, 10 bus Cinelux 21 camera backpack. Very nice. That sounds very, very fancy. But I is have that a roller your... that I want to give away. So, oh, Jason, Jason, oh, announcing things too early. Is it, is it, it's coming up with the A7S3. All right, I was yeah, maybe. <laughs> Fine. My, my, my slip, my slip, new camera, and you know, AB positive bulldog finally picked up the Zuyu and Smooth Four. What's up, very man? Nice. I know he was like eyeballing at Photocon and it just disappeared. Should have just pulled the trigger. <laughs> JP Cassiano, hashtag new gear to Sigma 50 1.4 is lit. Used it all week long. New favorite lens. Yeah, why is everyone having that? Did you shoot with it for video? Just curious. And how did you like the focusing on that? The photo focusing is good. I'm just uh, video focusing is a little, a little slow. Um, but it's not bad. It's just more if you need it to kind of. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, I'll talk uh, about it. Man, fan one. New gear, Lennon Gecko LB3, extended grip for the A7R2, A9, not as pretty as Sony's pinky grip, but more functional for 49 bucks. Cool. Nice. That's an alternate, alternate option. Jaren Ashimine, um, Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. Nice. Did it come with that backpack? <laughs> Did you get the Ultra bag with your 30 millimeter 1.4? You know what? What if I buy another Sigma lens like that? I'm going to get another Ultra bag, okay. man. Okay, but. yours doesn't look that bad. Okay, because yours is like gray interior. Mine was purple. Mine is purple. Oh, it is. I, yeah, I look at this. Oh, oh god, what, what the hell just rolled out? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like this royal purple? Oh, Guys, let, let us know in the comments. Do you dig this royal purple? This purple, maybe, royal maybe, purple? I don't maybe know. if the color combo was different. Maybe it was like purple and something else. But why is it? No one's going to see this until you open it. I mean, oh, you, what man. color do you want in here, Jason? What color I would you want? I thought it was going to be gray or orange. You want you want gray? I mean, I want it to stand that. Yeah, orange would be nice too. I yeah, would prefer orange. orange. I, I prefer orange. Or if there was an LED light when you open it and there's an LED light. Oh, you can install that yourself, man. I'm sorry. It's too much work, Jason. Come on, man. We got we're too busy. Well, <laughs> uh, oh, Michael Mistro is in the house, man. All right. Nice. <laughs> Jason says Danny wins the new gear game for now. For now. Uh, let's uh, see. Jim Pan. <laughs> Rodell <laughs> photo. Damn, Danny. Black Friday was early this year. <laughs> yes. This guy right here dropping dough. Uh, Jim Pan, hashtag new gear. A couple of t-shirts from Old Navy. Nice. Hey, man. Everyone's got to get some shirts. Let's see. Jason says, Danny wins the new gear game. <laughs> Lucky Never says, these free bags are a waste of Earth resources. Nobody's going to. I use them. Lucky oh. Never. Excuse me. I use those bags. Okay. I will take yours if you have one. They're perfect. Jason Vong says he has that bag, too. <laughs> Potato bag. Feather Rocker calls them potato bag. Dude, hey, Jason, I have an idea. We get these, we brand it instead of alter because obviously these are just generic bags. They just put the tag on there. Potato All right. bag. All right. Potato bag. I have one to give away. 
Who wants it? <laughs> They're like, we don't want it. It's like, you please, do? Stop. please don't, 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 give them. don't do your giveaway. <laughs> you set up your giveaway? It's like only two people. <laughs> it's me and some other guy. <laughs> I am I am giving away a potato ultra uh, camera bag. <laughs> the best bag in the world. It's the same bag that that one camera guy uses. Hey, man, they should sponsor me, Ultra. Uh, David Oster, new gear, more smoke bombs, because uh, as you all know, David Oster is a ninja. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, Nivek 88888, Tamron 20 to 75 arrived. Happy with this so far? No AF issue with photos. And LOL, it came with an Ultra bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who else has the Ultra bag? Oh, man. We need to do a meetup with everybody with an outro bag, guys. We all need to show up with that bag and rep that thing like no other. I swear. Okay. <laughs> Jason Vaughn, good on you. Hashtag no new gear, Rodel Photo. Thanks. Thanks, Rodell. That one Chinese guy. <laughs> Hashtag new house. Gear. Just got the A7 Mark III, the 2470 G Master, and pre and pre-ordered the DJI Ronin S in China. Jason, ugh, he's talking about that Ronin S. By the way, I almost pre-ordered that, but I held off. Nice. I held up. I held up. Uh, Fathom Rocker hashtag New Gear sandbags for my light stand and repurchase the crane too. What? Why? What happened? Gerald Williams pre-ordered the Sigma Art seventy millimeter f two point eight macro in native E mount. This lens is new design, not an MC eleven lens redo. Nice. I will try and take a look at that if I get a chance to. Ellie Malay, New Gear Samsung five hundred gigabyte SSD. Is that the one that was posted on BNH Photo and the two terabyte, two two terabyte Western Digital hard drives? Very nice. nice. The Thirteenth Dilemma New Gear Man Frodo ball head with quick release plate system. Nice. Leanna New Gear. I bought an exclusive monochromatic colorway of the twenty L P D everyday backpack for, backpack from Huckberry. Don't you have like a hundred bags right now? <laughs> I could have sworn. Yeah, didn't you get a bag? Wow, we, I how we in were New York. She, in New York, she had a bag, and then now she's gonna. Have a bag. It's okay. I have, I have bags laying around everywhere. Jaren also says he got the Altura bag. <laughs> yeah, we should do a yeah, survey. How many of you have the Altura bag? Rep rocking that Altura bag. Uh, John Louis Imperial, new gear, received my Tamron 20 to 75, F2.8, no issues so far. That is a good sign. That is always good. Chase says, oh, wow, that purple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cyanux uh, says, purple is better than orange at best, at least. There you go. Patrick Chang, hashtag purple potato. Nice. Uh, passion for gadgets, FS5 Mark II. What? Oh, snaps. <laughs> I got to do a rental. I just want to try out the camera I um, one day, but I'm not a... See. Dan, Dan K, new gear, just got my A7 III, 24 to 70 G Master, best place to sell my used APS-C stuff, probably Craigslist. Or eBay, I mean, or in this thread, I guess. I, I don't know, just start chopping around who wants to buy new gear from Dan. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Paul Kim, new gear, Sony A7 III, after waiting three weeks. Nice. I'm glad you got it though, Paul. I'm glad you have it now. Oh. I lost it. I'll keep going. Uh, Preston Osborne, new gear, A7 III, A7R III, two Mickey battery grips, 35 1.4 and the 85 1.8. That's some crazy fire you got there, man. Very nice. Math fans says, love the purple. <laughs> it's my college color. Got mine with the 30 millimeter 1.4. Even, yeah, even, boy. His icon, even his icon is a purple M. I don't know if you're seeing that on your screen, too. Yeah, it's 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 purple, yeah. Purple That's M. what I'm talking about, Math fan. I'm telling you, that ultra bag. Fire, fire. M Shiva Kumar Rao says, Hey, Jason, thanks for your videos. Just give a shout out when you see this message. Oh, you should probably say something. With love from India. There, there you go. go. <laughs> AB Positive Bulldog says that that one camera guy, the potato sack. I want one. Dude, I'm telling you, that should be a bag. We should. <laughs> Let's talk with Pete Design. Yeah, have him redesign a bag called the potato sack. Which, what, what, yeah, you have any failed designs that you kind of want to sell but can't because it's failed? <laughs> Just mark it as potato. Potato design. The potato sack bag. Um, dude, that'd be awesome. Um, Andrew Park, new gear, Bose QC35 Mark II. Uh, waterfall. Water, I don't know how to pronounce it. I call it, it waterfall. I'm guessing waterfall, that's new gear, Sigma 16.1.4, and a man Frodo quick release. You didn't get the Altura bag with that? Damn it. Yeah, did you get the Altura bag with that? <laughs> 
Wario 808 New Gear 3 Double XL Pink Vong Thongs. I didn't well, know those I'm were still on sale. I'm, I'm glad you got them. <laughs> Caleb Bornman, Bornman, Bornman says, I finally got rid of my Altera bag. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, let's see here. Alan Andrews, New Gears, Ronin S. Let's see here. Fathom Rocker says, the first crane to win power on, but the second was working like a champ. Whew, oh. nice. Pedro Baltazar, New Gear, 800 bucks from returning my Tamron. Ouch. You know, um, you know what's crazy? So get get so obviously for those of you that know, I made a video saying I was gonna return my Tamron 28 to 75. And I still have it because I still had a few more, I had like 10 days to send it back. I was hoping that Tamron would release a firmware update so I could take a look at it, but there's nothing. So uh, it looks like I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna officially send it back, I guess, tomorrow already, because I think that's probably a lot the last time for me I can send it back. So um, but yeah. Come on, Tamron. Dang it. Firmware update, come on, lag it on me. Maybe uh, I'll maybe they'll post it t this evening. Who knows? Maybe I'll be lucky. All right, Chase. If you sell your old gear, make sure to include your Altura bags, as it makes the deal sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? The hell? Chase, Chase Tarifa. <laughs> okay. All righty, folks. We're gonna go ahead and dive into some of the some new things that have been going on lately some shooting experience and so forth. Again, thank you so much for posting your new gear comments. And um, uh, we'll, again, we'll, we're gonna go ahead and take the questions towards the end of the show as fast as we can. So um, let's talk about some stuff that's brand new that's been going on. Uh, Jason, I don't know if you wanna go ahead and post any announcements right now while we're at it, since we're still kinda in the show. We got a lot of viewers in the house right now. So cool, uh, good chance for- oh, Wow, look at that, 224 people. Wow, that's, that's a lot of people. Um, so, this week is VidCon. Danny and I will be there from June 20th to the 23rd, I believe. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I think it's four days, man. I think it's all the way to Saturday. But I mean, we don't have to go all four days. Oh, snaps. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be there <laughs> this week. So come say hi if you're gonna be there. Um, we were getting the creator pass, so we're throwing some dough for this, and uh, we're just gonna be walking around the con, trying to learn some new, learn some new YouTube hacks and secrets. And uh, yeah, that's that's VidCon this week for us. I mean, like I said, I've never been. I've never been. Have you been there, Jason? I've never been. Um, I, our good friend Sydney Diongson was like, "Yeah, it's totally worth it. You guys should totally go." And I was like, "All right, there you go." I just it's better just to take it off that bucket list of things to do. You know, yeah, just, we, just we get said, it out of the way. Yeah, we said we want to go now. It's the opportunity to, to go. So yeah, I'd rather not go. Yeah, just do it now. Because you never anybody, know what's going to happen in the year. Jason might be super busy, and like maybe he might be invited as a guest panel next year, and you never know. Yeah, I mean, it's my, it's my last year to be a, a normie to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Tola Visuals, Kitty from a Tola Visuals, she'll be there as well. You guys are a big fan of her work. She'll be there. We'll be all rolling out together. There you go. Um, uh, let's this, see. This and then have another announcement. Yeah, this Sunday um, is my Disneyland meetup. So if you guys are in Southern California with an annual pass, we'd love for you to come out. If you check out my latest video that I uploaded today, you'll find a link to RSVP for the event. The event is free, but the um, Disneyland ticket is not. So if you're a pass holder, obviously you can just go in whenever you want. But if you want to join us for the meetup, but you don't have an annual pass, please purchase the ticket beforehand. And Danny, did you want it to come as well? Yeah, for sure, man. I'll... I guess so. All right. Well, let me know because uh, we'll sneak you in. Anyway, <laughs> how are they with camera gear? They're good. Like how, you can you can bring. Is it, um, like univers is it just like Universal's where you just like put everything in a bag and you scan it through and they're just cool, whatever. Something like that. They're a little bit. Um, they seem a little stricter for security. Mm -hmm. Just no selfie stick. Tripods right. are allowed. Gimbals are allowed. So. Lighting's allowed, obviously, right? Like a yeah, full, total, on, full I don't on movie know. set. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about lighting. Uh, we'll see, man. I'll let you know, man. But uh, I'm like ninety percent sure. Okay, well, let me yeah. know. All right. Okay, so uh, thanks for the announcement, there, guys. Anyone in the chat around the corner? Um, what the heck, Jake Kim says that uh, that one camera guy. I don't recognize you with the clear video feed. <laughs> Screw you, Jake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're like, Thanks, man. are you Jason Vaughn? Your video seems too clear. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some stuff with the Sigma. Because the main topic is the Sigma Art FE lenses have finally dropped. 
they're in the hands of users and uh, the 35, the 50 to 85, I think are officially kind of circulating now. Let me know in the comments if any of the other ones are out because I know for sure some of you are holding out for the 105, right? So I'm just curious, those of you in the comments, uh, in the chat, are any are any of you actually waiting out for that Sigma 105 or you're just interested to see what, what that lens ends up producing? Because I am itching to pre-order it, but I'm gonna hold off and just do a rental because I, I don't need to spend that kind of money on that lens. So, um, but I did have the chance, I, I hopefully you already got a chance to see the video. Because if you don't know me already, I, I'm going by that one camera guy <laughs> to destroy this guy's series. <laughs> um, so, like I said, I went ahead and did a rental on the EF version of the Sigma 51.4 and this one here, the Art Series lens. And I picked them up from Lens Rental. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. So, um, But I went ahead and checked it out because there's a lot of interest with the lenses. I really like Sigma lenses. My favorite lens... Really, one of my favorite prime lenses is the, actually the Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4 art lens, as well as the Sigma 120 to 300. And so, when I finally got the art series lens, just to just to keep it simple for you, for those of you wondering, um, sharpness and overall quality, I was very impressed with the Sigma. Both the EF version and the 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 Sigma are pretty much the same optical formula. There's nothing different. But what Sigma did was they changed something with the motor system inside of the actual lens. So I know there's a lot of pe folks who were concerned about noise. That was pretty much the biggest thing. And the, the Sigma art lenses for FE, for Sony, are very silent. They're very quiet. So if you're taking photos or even doing video with it, it's going to be fairly silent. Now, the one criticism and, and issue that I had with mine, and this could be fixed with a firmware update, uh, considering the fact that Sigma does release firmware updates every now and then, but it did focus kind of slow. Now, when I was doing face tracking and kind of like me, maybe an interview kind of situation, the tracking was fairly good. It wasn't bad at all. I thought it was adequate, but if you're looking for fast video autofocus from one point to another, you're not going to be very pleased in that regard. So, but just more still subject isolation, video autofocusing, I think it's pretty good, but overall, that's my thoughts on the Sigma 50. So, so you're saying what the autofocus is Correct. for photo, right? You would say, what's that, man? Sorry, I'm I saying, cut up a little bit. I'm saying for photos, the autofocus is pretty snappy, right? Yes. And what's, what's weird is I honestly thought the EF version was snappier. When I did the up, the firmware update, I got the impression that this was snappier, but you definitely can feel you really feel this lens, like the internals moving, like the motor, mm -hmm. uh, when you're shooting with the EF version with the MC11 adapter. But with this one, you don't. It's completely silent. But uh, it seemed as if the EF was boom. It was spot on, was doing really well. EF version, um, quick to focus. So that was a, kind of the reasoning why I, I was ab about the opinion that, and folks, those of you in the chat, if you really want to ask questions now for this, for, for my opinion on these, please go ahead and do so. Like I said, I did test out, uh, I'm actually doing a video on this, but I also have, I was just testing out the Sony Zeiss 51.4, the Rokinon 51.4, the Zeiss 55 1.8, and the Cheapo 51.8. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them now. I'll try to answer them while we're talking about this topic. If you have anything about those as far as recommendations. But, um, but yeah, dude, the if you have the Sigma 50, like I said, if you had the Sigma 50 EF version, and you have Canon cameras still, I think it's a good middle ground. I would just stick with it with the MC11 adapter. But obviously, if you just have primarily a Sony cameras, then get the Sony, the Sony one, because you don't need the adapter, because the MC11 adapter is an additional expense. So that's how I would go with it. Um, now, well, here's what's weird. There was an update for the Sigma 35 millimeter art, so I went and updated, oh God, my phone. So I went and updated my Sigma 35 millimeter art uh, EF version. I don't have these. I don't have the native one. The autofocus was still still not good. It, I didn't find it very good compared to the 50. So I was kind of disappointed in that. But that was just my initial test. Um, but maybe some of you might have had better experiences with it. So, so in terms of comparing the video autofocus for the Zeiss 51.4 and like the Sigma, I don't know if you got a chance to test it out yet. But what did you think? So if you're looking at um, the Zeiss, the major benefit, you, you know, the Zeiss is going to focus faster. Uh, focus but it's still going to be faster. Like, is it like incredibly it's, noticeably faster or it's going to be like, eh, like a hair? That one, that one is definitely going to need a side by side. 
Yeah. Um, I haven't done a side by side, but I am going to do one. So that one to confirm it just to, just so that people can see, okay, this is how it's performing. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I, th but in terms of just, if you're just doing kind of like just me right now, if it was just me right now and the lens was there, I would be fine. Um, yeah. but if you're running around, I wouldn't tell, you know how you're shooting the wedding, yeah. right? And you had your, tw I wouldn't, <laughs> I, I wouldn't put the 50, like, <laughs> That's how, that's the way I would praise it. Don't, <laughs> don't use the video. So it's not reliable in a sense that it won't keep your subject in focus as they're no. walking towards you or walking away from you. I, I really think just for my initial, I'm almost done with my testing. The Zeiss 55 is faster in autofocus, video autofocus. Like overall, I would like faster. Yes, of, if all of all the fifties I looked at so far, including the 55, which is not, I mean, it's a little more than 50, right? I think that's the fastest. Cool. So that's kind of the impression I have right now. I, I will do the side-by-side -side stuff so you can guys see it in the video later on, but that's the impression so far. But um, I would say if you're just looking for a nice 50 millimeter lens and you don't need like really fast stuff, this is a really good one. This little guy here, the 51.8. No need to spend $1,400. I think you'll be happy with this. Um, I think in terms of sharpness, Sharpness wise, the, the Sigma is actually sharper than this, the, when I did my test, again, there's lens variations, the Sigma was sharper than the Sony nice. size. Yeah, it was, the Sigma was sharper. The Sigma was sharper wide open, but I think it might've been darker with like, uh, with, with, uh, I don't know what to put it, but it looked, it looked sharper. And then I was looking at the kind of the, um, the bokeh on it. I mean, I can't tell that. I mean, it looks about the same. I mean, okay. even the Ro the Rokinon's not bad either, by the way. The the Rokinon, the, the Sam Yang 35, the 50, or the Rokinon 50, it's not bad either. It's just autofocus is a little slower. So, all right. I completely forgot it. about the, the Rokinon. <laughs> oh, the Rokinon? I was like, I completely forgot about that. What's What sucks is, though, here's the thing. I can't, Jason, just, just so you know, and those of you in the audience, audience, I mean the chat, right? Um, To get... You have to order the adapter internationally. You know how there's there's a Sigma uh, update, like you can get the, uh, the adapter to update this one. This one, I can't find it. You can't just buy it from like B and H Photo or something. It's so stupid. I, help me out in the chat if you guys know about it. But you have to get the adapter, order it internationally, and then you have to find. It's not even something easily find. Like I have to go to like eBay to find it. And then, then you could update this. So I don't know when Lens Rental sent this to me, whether or not they updated the firmware or not. So maybe the autofocus is much snappier because it's a little slow. You can definitely hear the motors on this, um, on this lens. You got to dock points for that. Yep. You got to dock some points. All right. So let's see here. Okay. So Benoit, I've been waiting for the Sigma 20 mil, 24 millimeter review. Hope the AF is better than the 50. Uh, Lucky never says for the 8514. I'll wait for the Sam Yang. It's half the weight. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, Sam Yang, Sam Yang just announced an EF version. It looks really solid. Price wise, I think it was like $699, $799. If the optical formula is is com comparable for that price, let's see here, Jason. There's already quite a bit of 85s on the market, right? We've got the Sony 85, we got the Bodice 85, we've got the G Master, and then we're going to have potentially this Sam Yang one in the future. So a lot of options, a lot of variations. I mean, I mean, you had the G master at some point, right? Yeah, man, you got rid of the G master. Why do you, I use the 1.8? 1 1.8 is good enough. Very Preston, true. Preston Osborne, Jason, what do you think about the Sigma 135 FE to come? It's gargantuan, but I'm pretty we're gonna sure do, we're, we, we got to do a battle. Me and Jason, we got to do a baddest to Sigma challenge. <laughs> Dude, that <laughs> one point like eight would just blow the bodice out of the water, man. That will yeah. I, I that's the one I'm, I'm that's the ones I'm definitely considering on buying. The 105, 1.4 is one I would just rent out to try out because that thing's a monster. Yeah, I really want to see how heavy it is in comparison because I know oh, I keep it's saying massive. it's heavy and I just like have a feeling it's heavy. I just don't know like how heavy in comparison. I took I took my Zeiss Bodice 135 to Universal yesterday, day after Gary, oh, shit, Gary yeah. ditched me. But um, <laughs> I loved I loved using the Bodice. I, it was just so incredibly light. My hand never got tired. I was getting some great photos from like far away. Did you do the water show, Danny? The water world show? Yeah, water world. Yep. Yeah, I was like front seat, but like not in the not in the soak zone. 
I got some amazing photos. I'm not sure if, they're, if the photos are still on my Instagram story, but I got some amazing photos with the bodice. So incredibly light, getting my getting my reach with the Super 35 and everything, and photos came out great, excellently sharp. So great travel lens. Yeah, I mean, I remember when we, you did the portrait sessions um, in the when we did that desert shoot in Nevada. Yeah, great stuff. That thing was that thing was tack sharp, man. Yeah. Love that lens. Yeah, but um, the one, but the one thirty five Sigma. I mean, like if you do portraits with it, definitely. Yeah, I would definitely consider it because look, yes, the video side is probably going to be slower. I that's just going to be the issue. Okay, I I don't think you're not going to get native video performance, but the photo side of things, it's not bad at all. Especially if you're using the one thirty five for portraits, if that's kind of your working distance, or the one hundred five, it's very very hopeful. If you're a portrait photographer. You're gonna get eye autofocus. You're gonna get decent, but uh, really good focus with your photos. So, um, I, I mean, there's no other option right now. I mean, there, the only other 105 that I'm aware of that's like the like a really wide prime lens. When I mean like f 1.4, is the Nikon. Nikon has a 105 1.4, but Sony's only got their 100 STF, which I've never used. But Jason, you did at one point. Yeah, it's it's a good lens. It's just kind of hard to deal with that um, whole f 2.8 but the t stop is like 5.6 i gotta try that out i I'll, I'll ask for a rental one time um yeah. i just i just want to try it out so i have a better understanding of that lens more yeah all right keep going jason i don't know where i'm at here storyboard uh, how far off is your sony versus sigma comparison everybody at storyboard is hanging out to see that one you got wait, a group wait, what? waiting for you man uh <laughs> how far off is your sony versus sigma comparison the 50s, that video is, oh, Sony versus Sigma. So you're saying you want to know, oh, God, this stuff's falling. All right. So you want to know it's between these lenses, two. Guys. <laughs> Imagine just like a domino of lenses. Uh, so if you're wondering about the Sony Zeiss and the Sigma, like I said, uh, optical quality, I actually I actually technically give it to this in terms of sharpness. Now, in terms of like micro contrast and things like that, I can't really comment on that. It's... Um, but I, I really can't see a major difference between these two optically. Obviously, this is going to give you the best compatibility, but you're paying about five hundred to six hundred dollars more for, for the Zeiss. It, for the Zeiss, and I which don't think. Th what's up? Now, which one is lighter? The Sigma is heavier. It's probably they're both very he they're both fairly heavy um, between the two. Yeah. And the Sigma is obviously, oh, in terms of length, they're about the same. I mean, with the with the hood on there, they're about the same. It's just a little longer. But the Sigma is definitely heavier. And I know folks kind of get turned off about the, the weight of the lens. But the truth, the problem is you can't design a 1.4 that's as that's very light. Now, the Wizards at Zeiss created that Zeiss 55 1.8. I don't know how they pulled that one off. That thing's amazing. <laughs> but it's a 1.8, right? So, um you know, I guess Sigma just wanted to put all they could in this and not worry about the weight of the lens. Uh, so, but I, I, would I purchase it? I guess the question is, would I purchase this, the Sigma 51.4? Probably wouldn't. I think I'm pretty, pretty happy with my Zeiss 55 1.8. I really don't need that additional extra stop. Yeah. And then someone told me, Jason, the transmission of light between the Sigma 50. This is actually a 1.8. It's a T-stop of 1.8. So uh -huh. in terms of light gathering capability, it's the same as the Zeiss 55 1.8. Oh. So the Zeiss 55 1.8 and the Sigma 51.4 had the same light transmission. So you're not getting an exposure advantage, really. It's just more about the out of focus that you can get out of it with the 1.4. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting indeed. All right. All right. Let's see Moving this. on. Vegan Chasers, my 35 1.4 gets here on Wednesday. I can't flip and wait. I hope the autofocus is good. $900. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. I really hope so. I like I said. I think the focus will be good. Video just might be a little slow. It, it, photo wise, you're, you're you're good. I really want that one. If there's anyone I'm gonna get, it's that. But what I'll probably do is send in my 35 because I have a Sigma 35 art, and we'll see how the process goes and um, with the sending in your lens. Yeah, I might just drop some dough for that Sigma 35 one four just to have it, just to see what it's like. It's nice, man. I really like that. It's I know, well, I know it's a good lens, but I just want to I just because I'm missing a 35 in my arsenal, but yeah, Zeiss is also coming out with their bodice 40 millimeter. And I'm like, oh yeah. I don't know, man. I just I don't know what it is. I just I'm not a fan of the bodice line. I don't know. I am. 
after you told me that Sony Pro Support doesn't doesn't actually look at the bodice gear, it kind of turned oh, yeah. me off. No, they don't. That, so that I'll, really... I'll have an update for you when I get my bodice 18 millimeter back because I, I did send it in for repair, so I'll have more more to comment. So we'll see. Talk about the repair process and everything. All right. That would be good. I would actually appreciate That's actually some good info, by the way. <laughs> Uh, John Louis Imperial is asking, obviously, I uh, uh, was asking about the firmware update on the Rokinon. I have no idea. I have I have no idea if Lens Rental did an update on that thing because I can't do the update on my own. Okay. Um, Liana, Sigma sharper, but size faster autofocus. Yeah, at that point, I'd probably value the autofocus more than if the Sigma is slightly sharper. I'd rather have a more accurate autofocus than... I would say the advantages in the video. Yeah, I, I I would say the photo stuff they're probably very close, but for video I probably value the Zeiss more. Yeah, if you're if you're doing it, but I like I I don't like I said I'm gonna do some side by side testing. I have a feeling that the Zeiss fifty it's is a little slow. It's not super fast either. Um, so just something to keep in mind. The boss, I love my eighty five Sony uh, Benoit. So Sony 85 1 1.8 is the best bang for the buck for sure. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, um, Stan Lee says, uh, wondering the sharpness of the Rocket Nod 51.4 and the video autofocus. Danny already says the autofocus is a bit slow, but it's, it's slow. Not, but it's not bad. The Rokinon, the Rokinon, uh, the sharp, yeah, the sharpness is it's not edge to edge sharp like what I saw from the Sigma at wide open. Um, but there's always very vari copy variations, man. That's why I, that's why the whole sharp. I mean, you can get an idea of the general sharpness test, but I'm starting to see that, you know, there's copy to copy variation, man. It's a pain uh, once in a while. Joe Devine, 55 1.8 versus the 51.4 Zeiss. Um, I would I, 55 1.8, man. Crazy, right? There's there's no need for that extra for the 1.4 to 1.8, man. Um, in a remote rocking on lens are very soft wide open and have bad fringing slash chromatic aberration aberration there aberration. uh i i mean cent for that lens of 50 the central sharpness was decent i i didn't have any problems in the peripheral sides it's the edge was noticeably noticeably softer than the other ones i was testing Mm. let's see here g crusty pork do you think a sigma art video autofocus will get better that's a tough question to answer i think well what's I think, the question uh, do you oh. think the sigma art for the video autofocus with the sigma art will be will get better and i just think that's a tough question because i really think sigma probably focus a lot more on the photo aspect with their lenses than video Here, here's the thing i i, I want to ask people that are in the chat is video important? Has video become that important to you? Because I'm pretty sure this conversation a year ago, Jason, or maybe two years ago, that this wasn't a problem. Um, I think with good bit photo autofocus, but because as you know, Jason's our uh, hybrid shooter, right? <laughs> and a lot of you are doing hybrid shooting. I guess video is just as important now than ever, right, Jason? Yeah, definitely. So, because, you know, I. I would still man. There's still, even though I have video autofocus, there are still times I will manually focus. There's just times, and like I said, um, video autofocus, it depends on your need. It really depends on your need. But I get why people are frustrated, maybe with video autofocus, where they're like, "Well, I'm going to drop eight to nine hundred dollars. I want this video autofocus to work really good." But here's the thing, you can't have everything. Like it's just not going to happen. So. Um, you're kind of stuck, cu stuck in the middle of things. I I don't know what else to say. It's it's a tough it's a tough call, guys. So is the is the art video autofocus going to get better? I think Sigma can release some firmwares to make it better, but that's really just speculation. I'm assuming that over time they might to improve it, but we the best we can do is just wait. That's all we can yeah. do. Cool. Joe, Joe the Vine is the Sigma sharpen the Zeiss fifty five. When I did my test, okay, I'm just saying my test. Across the board, the Sigma was sharper. Across the wide open, across the range at 1.4, it was sharper compared to the 1.8. Clyde asked, did you try all the focus modes on the Sigma, normal responsive fast? I'm pretty sure Danny would do that. So uh, did you try the... I I have to use the fastest modes on the Sigma. If I use any of the slower ones, they, they're slow. 
<laughs> it's already slow with the fastest options. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, okay. It's already well, slow with the even, fastest. <laughs> even even the native Sigma class, you still have to. You would still have to put it on fast. Yeah, and it's still not quick like a regular Sony, like a native lens or something. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's not good at all. The thing is, when it comes to those tests, I know people want to see a lot of those tests, but it's just, it's very, it's a lot of time. It, it's a very time consuming just to like go through each individual test and then evaluate, check, and then watch and review, te test, review. And so there's only so many things we can test. So, you know, I can't give a, like a 100% comprehensive video. Unfortunately, it's more, you know, I can just give you kind of a holistic view of the best that I can, you know, based on, based on what, uh, based on my time that I have available. Just send it to All me, right. Danny. I'll take care of it for you. No problem. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. Let me pass it through. It'd be cool if I can pass it to the side, right? And then right. it shows, yeah, up, yeah. shows up to you on that side. <laughs> I, got it. I, got it. I got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> and they find out these are just sets and they're just like next to each other. We're just talking. They're, you're just like across the room here. <sighs> That'd be hilarious, man. Um, shoot. What's going on here, man? Manny Ortiz is in the house and he Both said it. Going. He said it. I'm what not the biggest fan of Sigma. I do love my 16 mil 1.4, but the full frame ones are just too huge. <laughs> too big for too big for Manny. Dang! Doesn't Manny got like a 51.2 Canon? Man, get out of here, man! Get out of <laughs> here. That thing is that thing's pretty big too. He's like 55 millimeter all day long. It's a solid one. It's just price. But hey, if you get it gray market, which it's it's your call. That's your call. I got mine for 700 bucks. Yeah. But that's the kind of a your call situation. Okay. I want to let you guys know that there's always risk yeah. in doing that. Save up those eBay bucks. Wait for that. Wait, wait for those 20% off uh, eBay deals. Oh, dude. That was so sweet. That 20%. That's how I got my Sigma. <laughs> and that's how I got my Altera bag that one time. Oh, hey, yeah. this video is sponsored by Altera. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by the Potato Rebrand. <laughs> Michael Meester, I am so tired of buying gear. I just want to keep shooting as much as possible. Michael, amen to that. Michael, I don't speak of such <laughs> thing on this channel. How dare you? What's this about improving our photography and actually going out and shoot something? We got to collect gear. Can we, can we talk about this right now? I, we're going off on a tangent. We'll talk about the upcoming potential Sony camera soon. But um, I just want to talk about this. And I... I I hope you guys all understand. We do talk about gear. It's a gear podcast, a gear channel. Just know that up front. It, it, it's all about going over gear because we're just like gear nerds about it. I don't know if that's the right way to put this. Um, and so we like that stuff. We like talking about it. But the truth of the matter is it's not helping you become a better photographer or a better videographer. All the equipment that you need is already available to you. Like all the stuff that you would want is there. It's just that the technology is getting better to make it easier for you. Like Maybe a few years back, gimbals are haven't haven't been this great. Now you've got Zoo and Crane, you've got DJ Ronin, you have all these different tools that'll make you, your job and life easier. You got better uh, lighting options now, better wireless lighting options. These flash heads, Godox, or whatever brands you see, things are getting so much easier than ever before. And the gear really isn't making us any better in terms of technical technical abilities. It's just we just like talking about it jason put his head down jason are you okay <laughs> stop speaking the truth danny <laughs> <laughs> oh man guys let us know in the chat what are your thoughts on that is, is this is this going too far i know we just talk about this because it's just fun to talk about i hope we can all agree on that it's just more it's just fun things to go over but you know sometimes it gets really serious in the chat it gets serious in the comment section They're like this that and the third why are you getting that lens this lens is stupid and i'm like you know what I'm testing at all these 50 millimeter lenses, guys? Honestly, this cheapo 50 1.8 is so good already for the price. Oh, like, God. there's no need to spend 14, 1500 bucks on the Zeiss Sony Zeiss. It's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, Happy I'm looking at style. it. Coming with that Altura bag and now talking about the 50 1.8. Oh, get out of here. I'm like, you don't need it. You really don't. I mean, if you have cash to burn, obviously you can go ahead and get the best that's out there. But in terms of like, I always ask myself, does anyone really, is this the majority of people that are going to see your content going to care that it's a little bit soft on this side? Most people are not going to care. It's this is just like just gas, straight up just gear talk. So I just want to share that. I just want to get that off of my, off of my mind, guys.
Now I can yeah, sleep. When, when I, I think like you mentioned something about the Tamron having like a very bad vignetting issue, but nobody has commented on my video talking about how bad the vignetting was at 28. So <laughs> I don't know. I just want to point it out there because a lot of people did, do talk about that, that issue, like on other people's reviews, but they haven't really mentioned it on my video. Well, there you go. I mean, like I said, those things can be corrected. And sometimes vignetting is not a bad thing, depending on your photo that you're, you're creating. So, but all right. Okay. So Jason, I, I was looking at quickly. Eight hundred dollar, A seven R three. Boy, you put that away, man. <laughs> you can blame Alex Sandoval for sending this. That's how I was like, my head is that because I was like, ooh, A seven R three for two thousand seven hundred fifty bucks. Why not? Jason, Jason, put that away. We're not trying to sell them a camera right now, Jason. We're trying to we're trying to sell them some some can knowledge. Can I offer you guys on a new camera? <laughs> I don't I don't make affiliate <laughs> off of this, but just letting you guys know, A seven R three. Twenty-seven <laughs> fifty on eBay. Damn it, Jason. Sorry. All right. Let's see here. Joe Devine. G A S. Gas. Gas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Robert saying, "I'm excited about the 135 for some indoor sports." I am too. I'm actually very excited about the 135 1.4 for indoor sports. But man, do I love my 100 or 400. I will use that indoors even at ISO 25,600 because I'm crazy. All right. <laughs> the collab. The gear talk was beautiful and gave me a revelation. Just saying. Oh, who said that? Oh. <laughs> was, was the gear talk like the stuff we talked about earlier? Are you talking about the one that's just where Danny went off on a rant? Yeah, man. It's it's this gets too ridiculous. There's just so much stuff out there, man. Do we really need Sony gear? I'm going to start commenting on your video. You're not shooting with the 5518 anymore. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> I love the inside joke stuff, man. I just hope people get that. Uh, let's see. Manny Ortiz. Danny talking about how we don't need new gear, but he will probably drop an unboxing video of all new Sigma emails and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Manny, you missed it, man. Uh, but he was like pulling out like all these lenses that he rented out, two SD cards, a messenger bag, and gear doesn't matter, guys. If you get these dead, <laughs> you don't need any of this stuff, man. Just <laughs> always shoot with what you've got, and then obviously, if you if you can build up your way, then build up your way to better stuff. I mean, that's the best way to do it. So, our uh, what well, we say arbitrage. <laughs> Hey, we got we to chime in a little bit about this new Sony camera thing that was posted, and then we'll, I think we'll wrap it up and do the Q&A stuff. So um, so there was a post on Sony Off Rumors. Uh, as where I get all my news from, apparently. <laughs> so, Andrea, thank you if you do see this. Uh, thank you for all your stuff that you post. I appreciate it. Uh, so there is, um, a, so I guess Sony registered a new camera, and usually when they register a new camera, it means in a few months there's going to be a new camera. And this new camera is, and I've said that word too many times, the Alpha 6700 or the A7S III. Um, Jason, what do you think it's going to be? Just to, just pick a guess. I'm talking about it, Danny. It's right here. Oh, shoot. Jason, hide <laughs> that. i got to blur that out now. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, it's tough to say. I mean, like, could be anything. I'm I'm going to go what ahead. What do my you want personally? I'm going to say the what A7S III, think? man. I mean, that's it's anticipated. I mean, hopefully they announce that around Photokina because he said two to three months and we're all mm -hmm. speculating that it's gonna it's gonna get announced in October Photokina. So hopefully it's the A7S III. So what everyone's been kind of waiting for. And then they'll get announced in October and it'll start shipping <laughs> on November. There you go. November I 6th, the, guys. A7S III folks, ships. Let, Heard it here on that one camera, guys. <laughs> if you're on the chat, what do you want to see first? A6700 or the say A7S III first? I'd like to know. Uh, for me, I want to see the A6700. I, for some reason, I'm just uh, just not feeling a full frame camera right now. I want to see an APS-C camera. Um, and yeah, that's that's my take right now. Um, we, we've already kind of shared sort of the specs that we want to see in the cameras. I think I think we're all in agreement. The 4K 60P is a big one. That's kind of like we we would like to see that. Yeah. Uh, but I feel that maybe the Alpha 6700, like I said, will be sort of that hybrid video camera that's going to have very similar specifications to the a7s3 in terms of video maybe it'll be another 4k 60p camera maybe they launch both at the same time or they they announce both at the same time who knows oh, i don't know but they dropped both a6700 and a7s3 my wallet's just gonna i don't know 
What if it's a what if it's a paired kind of camera in the sense that this is kind of your main, this could be kind of like a B, and it offers very similar video uh, video specs and capabilities. I think that'd be a better better partnership with those two cameras. But would you want to drop two cameras at once? You kind of want to own the news cycle, so I kind of doubt they would announce two cameras together. You probably want to spread it out. So yeah, I mean, like it's gonna be hard to have two cameras because I don't know. You really want people to be talking about Sony for you know throughout the year, right? So you really don't want that those two cameras to drop at the same time. So we're for sure only going to get one camera. And um, I am still waiting for that Sony 400 2.8. So I'm very excited about that over the summer. So that's why I've been just doing rentals. I've been trying to save all my pennies because I I really want to get the Sony 400 2.8. Sorry, Danny. I I my mistake, man. The new the new camera is uh, the RX1 Mark III. Boy. <laughs> Hey, where's our, our where's our SR6? Where's he at? Is it Esther? <laughs> Chris Barr, Chris Barr, where are you at? Chris Barr, where are you, man? Where's our, where's our RX1 SR6? Mark III? Mark my word. Fix, what is this? Okay. Fix 35 millimeter F1.8. There you go. Let's see. I'm seeing A7. I'm seeing A6700, 6700. I'm seeing more 6700s than the A7S3 for those that posted. Take that. I APSC knew it. APSC is dead, guys. APSC is dead. Nah. According to Danny. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Jim Penn says, Sony medium format, 50 megapixels, $3,000. He's oh, called man. it here first. Jim Penn is our new SR. <laughs> Come on, clutch for that <laughs> SR. SR SR7, SR7. Pen, if you are correct on this announcement that is a medium format camera, you are now going to be SR7 level. I want you to know that oh, you no. will be. All right. Sorry, Chris. We need, to have... you need to be demoted. <laughs> we need to have, you know, uh, what was that car show? I totally forgot it. Uh, Top Gear. And they yeah. would have the they would have people come in and race the cars. Oh, crap. My my camera overheated. No, I'm kidding. Um, Why does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> um. Since we're since because we were starting to talk about the cameras, Sony cut me off right now. Uh, so uh, <laughs> they cut the feet off. They took they took them out, guys. We can't be talking um, about the A seven S three or the they're cutting the wires. They're cutting the wires, guys. Potato podcast. Here we go. So I was thinking that if you made a really good guess, we should have like your uh, on a leaderboard. It should be um, like SR six, SR seven level on a little chart. Who got it right? That'd be pretty funny. Be pretty That's good. Insane. That'd be intense. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, what the heck, Matt? Who is Johnson? Is in the house. What the heck? He wants Matt an A seven Johnson S three. <laughs> one and only Matt. Who is Matt? Who is Matt? Who is Matt? I don't know. Who is Matt? <laughs> who is Matt Johnson? Nice. Really big his positivity in his videos. Um. All right. Let's see here. Hashtag QA. Yeah, we're on the QA section, and, and while we're getting those questions kind of queued up and fired up, I'm going to quickly just talk about whatever else I had kind of listed here. Um, we did mention there was this post about the Nikon D850 having a Sony sensor. I, I guess there was a big deal about it, but I thought it was kind of – I thought we all kind of knew that Sony was providing all these sensors. There might be some tweaking going on, but it looks like the D850 has, has a little bit of Sony inside of it. has a little bit of Sony. Um, we talked already about the Samyang lenses. There's a Samyang 85 1.4 right now. It's an EF mount. We don't know if there'll be an, sorry, EF mount. We don't know if there'll be an EFE mount soon, but that's there. And then finally, uh, like I said, I'll just brush on this again, that uh, on Canon rumors, there were some rumors talking about how hopefully Canon will start focusing on their video features on their prosumer cameras, because that's an area that Canon sort of been lagging on, especially with 4k and their high frame rate options. So, uh, like I said, I always would appreciate more competition from all manufacturers. I wouldn't just want Sony to be kind of like a top dog in terms of things. You want that competition between all these manufacturers. So Q&A, Jason, let's see what's going on here. QA, Jim Penn, anyone try other software to wirelessly tether iPad to Jim Sony? Jim Penn, anyone try other software to wirelessly <laughs> tether iPad to Sony using other than Sony Remote? I'm considering Field Monitor app, also looking for a mount to attach to a tripod. Jason, have you used something else? Uh, no, I haven't. I I don't. I haven't. Oh wired God. I can't hear Jason. What's check, going check. on here? It's your earphones die. Oh man, it's not him. It's me. Okay, 
Hang on. Hang yeah, on. Way, to, way to interrupt me. Jason, when entertain the show. Uh, no, I personally, Japan, have not used any other um, wireless tethering option. I think the best one you can do is to tether via Capture One Pro Check to a laptop. One, two, three. Aside from wirelessly tethering, okay. I've never tried it. This doesn't so work too well, in my opinion. Cut me off here. Okay, I'm going to keep on going while Danny fixes his problem. First, my camera goes off. You good? You'll be back. You back now? Now my earpods are dead. Okay. All right. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Still can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. All right. Moving on. Bow Richard QA. Is the bodice 18 2.8 still worth it after the Sigma 14 millimeter release? I mean, again, what we've been talking about, the whole size comparison, you know, Sigma 14 millimeter is going to be probably pretty heavy compared to the Zeiss bodice, but obviously has that aperture advantage 1.4 versus uh, 2.8. So you're really going to have to outweigh, like, what do you, what do you value more? The size of the weight or the aperture? Um, and the price, you know, I'd still say the bodice 18 is still one of my favorite lenses to have. Isn't that, so. isn't that 14 millimeter? Isn't it F1.8? That thing's massive, isn't it? I could have sworn. Massive. That, it's bulb. Like, that bulb like, is huge. It's like 1700 bucks. I think it's like, oh no, $1,600. Yeah. Uh, just get it, man. Get the Sigma. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Louis Happy. Louis Happy. Q&A. Hey, should I get the 13 inch MacBook Pro model, base model, or should I get the 15 inch MacBook Pro base model? Mm, get a I Windows. <laughs> if those are my only choices, I say go for the 15. Yeah, you, you want that power. But I don't know if you're just doing photos. I mean, it might be, might be fine. Preston Osborne, best editing desktop. Build I your a, own. I use a laptop right now. Yeah, I would build I would build one. Oh, did you hear did you hear that? Sorry, Ryzen uh, AMD is uh, they had a 16 core CPU. Now they are going to release a 32 core CPU very soon on the same architecture. So uh, for those of you that are part of AMD, that's going to be a lot of cores. 32. Nice. Uh, Preston, if you want a uh, PC building guide, Matt Johnson actually has one. So there you go. Check his channel out. Jaron Ashimine. When do you think Sony will release a 16 to 50 f2.8 for APS-C? I think Sigma or Tamron will do it first. Yeah. I, I right now I don't think Sony is going to do it. That's just my gut. I, that's the way I see it right now. Um, Alan, QA, what should my first lens for the A7R3 be if I'm interested in video? Um, as general as we can be, 24 to 70 G Master or 24 to 105. Uh, Eli Malay, have you ever had a hard drive fail? And so what brand and type, what is your favorite brand? Back in the day, I would have like those Western digital drives and, or even the Toshiba versions. And those things would, I would have them flake on me once in a while. I would lose data. That's eventually when I started going, when I started having more like serious video work and I needed to back it up or just have like a, a raid set up. That's when I picked up my Drobos. So as far as brands, the stuff that I focus now um well samsung has their portable drive so if you're if you're looking for a portable drive samsung's good g tech is good i would say or G, is it g tech or g drive jason i don't know the name g g drive g drive and then for my internal drives right now for like my system i use the wd red drives and also the uh the, C, the iron wolf seagate drives i'm sorry there's i don't have a good like like one one answer, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. Chino Photography, Kiway. Does anyone know when the 105 from Sigma is coming out? I thought it was oh. like July. It could be around. July. There you go. Could be like somewhere, somewhere around there. Pedro Baldazar, uh, Luminar Photo Editor or One Raw? I have not used either of them, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, Min Maybe. Tran Kiway, update on the Wasabi A7 III. The batteries? They're doing fine. If you're talking about, are we talking, if we're talking about batteries? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing fine. No problems whatsoever. Um, let's see here. NBW Doughboy, best wide angle lens for the A7 III with little distortion, erping, and ETC. Wait. Uh... Boom. Hey. Lawa 15 millimeter. Yeah. That, that 15 Lawa. 
<laughs> okay, guys, uh, Geek Loco, have you tested the Roken on 14 millimeter AF? I'm testing and the autofocus and video does not work well. That's to be expected. Um, I don't know. Have you been able to do any of those like uh, updates on the actual things? I, I just can't do it. Just can't, um, so yeah. Adrian um, Wankam. And does the uh, quality lower when you film in 4K, 35 millimeter crop and clear image zoom? You're not going to really notice too much crazy difference. I mean, you, you'll, you'll see it definitely, but it's not going to be a massive drop in quality when you compare it against like 1080p. Darren Rose, man, he's roasting you while you can't hear. What the heck, Jason, man? Oh, I, I'm gone for I'm yeah. gone for one minute. Because Sony's trying to cut off my feed here. And uh <laughs> the Yakuza is on him, dude. Um, what the heck? Thanks, Darren. I appreciate you letting me know what's really going on behind the scenes when the when the audio's not right. I'll catch it on the the, the repeat show. <laughs> uh what's uh HJ Gill is asking, what's the camera of this broadcasting? I'm using the Alpha 6500 today with the Sigma 16 F1.4. You see. I have a 6500 right now, but my camera's not shutting off on me. So, Danny's Danny. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was my battery, dude. Cursed. cursed. He's cursed. Cursed. It's I'm funny when I when I got the ten, when I made my Tamron 20 to 75. They're like, Danny, you always get messed up stuff. What is wrong with you? Why Why do you always get the messed up stuff? <laughs> you should be like, I'm hey. not the only one, man. That's good. You, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, that means that they're not sending out specific items just to reviewers, right? Well, although I purchased it myself, right? But I'm just saying I, they send me whatever they whatever's out, you know? They're not handpicking them. That's a good sign. I made sure Danny got the crappy copy. Son of a... Passion for Gadget says, fly to Hawaii and I'm going to let you try the, the FS5 Mark II for free. No need rent. Um... You got a place I can stay at there for like a day or two? <laughs> I'm a head volcano. All right, awesome. Moving on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he went there, man. All right, moving on. Uh... Um, Ethan Nobacella. Top three lenses you would carry with you for hybrid shooting. Okay. 16 and 35 G Master, 55 millimeter 1.8. Did you say 50 millimeter f1.8? No, 55. Wow, <laughs> crash with me. Damn. Jason what was recommending it? this beautiful lens. That's here. trash. Garbage trash. Get that. Get that out of here. This is a beautiful lens for the price, as long as you <laughs> get that out of here. Anyways, 16 and 35 G Master, 55 and 85 1.8. Three of my hybrid shooting lenses right now. Okay. All right. How much did it all cost you? Let's 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 calculate let's, all that. Let's just move on now. <laughs> <laughs> I was putting I was putting uh, my Peak Design bag at, at the Universal with the A7R3, 1635 G Master, and the 135 Bodice, and I'm like, I am almost putting more than ten grand in this small little locker right here that could be easily broken into. You don't say that kind of thing, man. Shh. Now I can oh, never go back to Universal. Now you can't go back anymore, man. Um, Dang, Jason, that's four. That's four K, bro. It's four K. It's <laughs> more than four K, dude. Uh, Jarrell A, Sigma one thirty five or the Bodice one thirty five. You know, me and Jason may have a video in the future comparing those two. Wait, is the one thirty five shipping already? Oh God, I gotta check. Uh oh, gas, gas, gas. I'm not gonna buy it, man. That's hey guys, gonna... gear don't matter. All right, shoot whatever you want. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one thirty five right now. Like, look at this two face here. He just told us, he just told us like 30 minutes ago, gear doesn't matter. And look at him going out and buying another lens right now. Let me check. Mid July, Sigma 135. It's on my radar. Shh. Okay. You bought it. <laughs> done, done deal. All right. Yeah, uh, Gerald, just hold up, man. We'll, I don't have it in hand yet. Tanzo uh, QA, on A7R3, how do you take a video in portrait mode so they can send to your phone and upload to your Instagram story? Wow. Just watch my one of my latest videos, but <laughs> just, shoot it in, just shoot it in portrait mode and send it to your phone. Shoot in proxy recording. Turn that on so you can send that video file from the camera to your phone. Use an app called Rotate Video for the iOS to rotate that to its correct orientation to shoot it into your Instagram story. There you go. Solid advice. NBD visuals, not hearing much about the Sigma 70 millimeter macro. I would look at it. It's just that I'm like, I'm waiting for a rental. So 
Um, once rentals are available for it, I'm, I, I was looking to actually picking one up to test out. So that's the only reason why I haven't like gone and looked at it. I know people are interested in it though. Uh, Alan register QA is the Tamron 2275 still having issues. I yes. have not touched it since on my end. Unfortunately, if you're just asking about my situation, I'm, I'm just biding my time for, I, I really hope Tamron gives an update tomorrow morning so I can do the update and do some tests. But if not, it's going to go back tomorrow. I, have, I, I can't wait any longer. It's got to go back already. Matt Johnson, why have you guys have not invited me to your live streams yet? Bruh. Bruh. We'll, we'll, set, <laughs> we'll set things up. We'll set things up, man. Yeah. I'd love to have you on the live show. I want to pick his brain, especially about the FS5, because I know he's he's used that. Um. Ian, are you guys Filipino? No, I, I'm. I'm half Ian. He's that. He's that one Chinese guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Geek Loco, does the Sony RX100 Mark VI overheat in 4K after five minutes? It probably will overheat after you hit the five minutes twice, or if you record in direct sunlight. So uh, I know with my RX 100, like right now in my area, it's been hitting about 100 degrees now. It's starting to get a little hot. Ouch. So if I have the RX 100 Mark V, for example, out in direct sunlight when I was recording B-roll maybe for my videos, I'll get the overheating indicator show up in like two minutes while I, while I have it out. So it's it just, hot, man. It depends on the ambient temperature, direct sunlight. You know how that goes. I've already made my statements on that stuff already, which, uh, yeah, you know how that rolls. Cool. Sadoshi Q and A. Would you, Jason? Would you ride that Harry Potter ride a hundred times to be sponsored by Sony? Hell no, man! I got on that ride and I started feeling sick, and I was like, "Hey, did you check out? Did you check out the Kung Fu Panda attraction?" I didn't. It was like a hundred minutes to wait to like go in. I, I, we waited for that one, and um, it's not bad. I think it's it's all right. It's all right. But yeah, I wouldn't think it's worth waiting 100 minutes. Yeah. Probably go. Here we go back again. But whoa, Tanzel saying some stuff in there. I want to read that on my channel. Okay. But it looks like he's very excited about you answering his question. Wait. Uh, uh, okay. That's, I don't know. I don't know. If my girlfriend wants to see that. Don't read that, <laughs> don't read that on my show today. Okay. Family friendly. All right. Geek Loco here in Brazil, even inside, my RX 100 Mark V overheats after four minutes. Yep. Yep, that's the problem. Got to shoot in 1080p, unfortunately, sometimes if it's if that's the case. Um, I think that's gonna be it, Jason. Is there anything else? Cool. That's it. Yeah. Got. Wow. Um, uh, let's see here. So for those of you that are still chiming in here, you guys are still following us along. Don't forget to hit that like button. Always appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that bell to keep up with notifications. And don't forget to che check out Jason Vong. Um, just type him, search him up. He's out there on the internet. And uh, Jason, quickly remind them about the meetups that we're doing. I guess sort of like meetups. So again, we're going to be at VidCon this week, um, June 20th to the 23rd. Um, we're going we're gonna to be roaming around pretty much. We're not going to set any like big like meetup. I mean, we will. We'll probably just throw it out there. So um, if anybody is going to be at VidCon, just send us a DM. Um, love to meet and chat with you. Aside from that, this Sunday will be the Disneyland Sony Alpha meetup. So if you guys can make it, if you guys in Southern California, that would be awesome. And then the live show next week will be on Jason Bonk's channel. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us on this particular show. Again, thank you for joining us. If you just caught the stream right now, show notes will be posted soon. So you can jump into the parts that you enjoy, that you want to check out. So I think that's it. Peace. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. So Jason, so about that A7S3, right? Yeah, it's coming in tomorrow.